Whoever started talking about cities as playgrounds was definitely thinking about New York City. A bodega franchise is copying another bodega's mascot, who is a cat dressed like me. <laughs> Only in New York, baby. Maybe it's because I've grown up with it, but it feels like chess's natural state is to be played outdoors in a park. Reminds me of when I fought the vulture and someone tried to use his broken off wings to fly to Long Island. <laughs> this is much safer. This was the first bridge I swung across after I got my powers. All the cars honked. The tourists taking photos yelled at me to get out of their shots. It was nice. Favorite place to watch basketball, hands down. First time I swung past it on the way home, I ended up perched on a lamppost staring for two hours. Well, given all that's happened in the last few years, Predicting increasingly wild events only seems sensible. These people are out here every week dancing in ways that break my brain. I've actually been studying them for ideas on how to dodge better. Harry's favorite tennis court. With some luck, I'll be able to afford a membership when I'm 40. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll never be a member. Protesters like these are the reason why Oscorp's been speeding up their payouts lately. Respect to anyone who performs in front of an audience. I did an open mic set once. Aunt May was the only one laughing in the whole crowd. And she was hooting! One time, these guys started to play music to match the fight I was in down the street. It was like I had my own bards. Love wins. The timekeeper. He always made sure I got to class on time when I was at ESU. Don't think I could have managed college and the whole superhero thing without him. Can't imagine how hard it is to open a food business in New York, let alone find success with it. Does any other city have fans like this? Accidents aren't unique to New York, but it does feel like they happen a lot here. At least these two are all right. Robbie recommended this place back when MJ and I were first going out. So cool. Totally made up for my obscene sweating from fighting Rhino that day. Little Odessa has one of the oldest farmer's markets in the city. What better place to find a slice of New York life? Uncle Ben taught me baseball here. We watched a game together, then we threw the ball around a few times. I hit him in the ear. I tried to enter a hot dog eating competition with this guy last year. But the crowd booed me out after I asked for ketchup. If this city doesn't have the thing you want, you're probably not looking hard enough. Ah, the old days.